but I'm going to do something else first. So you can see we're a bit short cartridge here. We've got this bit here, which I'm glad we took those extra bits of rib. At one point I wasn't going to. Uh, this is all we've got. So we have to use this carefully. So I think this is going to become the uh, uh, anti-helix and the crura. And this baby here is going to be our uh, tragus somehow. Either that bit or that bit. Uh, and then we don't have much left for a projection block. And she had very little auricular cartilage, so this is a, uh, despite being 14, uh, there's not a lot to play with. So we'll move on to this bit. So if we can, I'd ideally like to use the natural curvature of this. And so what I'm going to probably do. Uh, you can see that it's not enough cartilage at the bottom end to make the anti-tragus, but we've got plenty to make the uh, crura. So what I'm going to do to try and see it's curving slightly the wrong direction, so I want it to... Uh... Okay, so now we've got our base plate, we've got our helical rim, which is still not quite right, because that stitch keeps giving up on me. So now we need to make our tragus and anti-tragus somehow. Maybe there's just enough between these bits. This bit will make a tragus. And I'd rather not do them separately, so if there's any way I can do them as one block, it's much better. Ideally, what you want is something like that, with that beautiful... Uh, you see when I've carved that cartridge off the helical rim, it's, unfortunately it's not big enough, big enough, but you can see... Fiddle. That beautiful notch is actually something slightly bigger, but the same idea as that is what I'm after. <laughs> 